Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we're gonna talk about levels. And in particular, a company called Stabila. They are in Germany. And they make some of the highest quality levels known to mankind. So if you sleep, please click that subscribe button because it'll help you get a better night's at it. All right, so here we go. So basically, uh, back in the day when I was poor, I used to use just whatever I had. Just any other uh, spirit bubble level, uh, something from Home Depot. My dad gave me one that was a wooden frame uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, but as I've evolved in my business and in my techniques, I've come to grips with uh, this brand. My wife, she um, bought me a door jam kit, which was two levels from Stabila like 15 years ago for Christmas one year. And uh, one thing after repetitively using different levels, I found myself grabbing this yellow and red level all the time because it was so accurate. I was building a deck one day and I was using multiple brands of levels. And I remember we were about, about four hours into trying to level this deck out. And it wasn't a very big deck. And I kept trying to figure out why this thing would not level up. And finally I took this blue level I had and I stuck my Stabila on top of it and they were completely out of whack. So I promptly cut that blue level up on my chop saw and it now becomes an I-beam girder for my jet ski trailer. These levels are accurate. Uh, when you stack, when you start stacking level on top of level, on top of level, even though this table is not level, you're gonna get the same reading out of each file, okay? They are very high quality made like I said, you know German cars, you know that Germany makes really high quality stuff. So the cool thing about Stabila is they offer a multitude of lengths for your needs. So I, I use building decks, I use all kinds of different lengths. I might be under a deck and I need a 16 inch level like this. Like I might be trying to level up some skirting or a small deck post. So 16 inch might work. I might need something a little taller, 24, it just kind of depends on what we're building. They go 24, 32, 48, 76, and then they have a plate level, which is kind of cool, and it extends out. So the end of the plate level goes, the, the level itself is seven feet, but then this end of this level opens up, and there's a locking mechanism right here. So you can still move it. It's not designed to like be able to push with, it just kind of holds this thing in place. So a lot of guys are using this vertically, like to do metal stud work and things like that. There's magnets on the bottom of this, which is really cool. But for me, I'm using it flat and I'm trying to extend this out to a certain point where I might need to reach eight, nine, 10 feet over onto another point. And I'm able to do that with this level. Now, they don't suggest that you extend it fully out to 12 feet. You might get a little bit of bow in it. Sometimes if I'm just doing a quick check on something, I'll go ahead and do that. But if you wanna be accurate, I think they say pull it back to like 10 foot six or something, something in that nature, uh, if you're gonna do an extended level out that far. So if I have to go over 10 feet, then I'm usually getting into a laser. So Stabila also makes a ton of different lasers um, tripods and things like that. This happens to be one, um, this is called an LA-90. And this particular laser I like because not only will it project a straight line, it'll project one vertically, horizontally, and it'll actually square a corner for you. So it'll point a laser down and then it'll point one to the right and to the left. So you, you can actually project a, a corner and then you can build off that corner, which again, I don't use too much. The cool thing about this laser, it's auto leveling. So once I, if I have my tripod on point, I've got this thing leveled out, this thing auto levels, and then it's good to go. So right now I have it in uh, horizontal mode. So basically when I'm building a deck, I need to know this line. I'll pick a point on the ledger of the house. And a lot of times, it's bittersweet because with, with something that's so accurate, and you can see it blinking, because I moved it. I moved this a little bit. I clicked it a couple times. It's gonna reset. Every time this thing senses that it's being moved or motion, it's gonna recalibrate itself. 
and it also recalibrates even if it's really windy out it'll recalibrate so um when i'm trying to build a deck the, the first thing i need to know is like what the tops where are the tops of all my posts gonna be i need a nice flat area so outside in the sun you're not going to be able to see this line so much so they also have a sensor that will pick up on the laser and i use this a lot with a grading stick you just turn it on okay and then when, as it starts to sense the laser it'll let me know and then it'll start to beep and it'll tell me to keep going up until it hits center and there we go and then i'll be able to make my mark this thing has little marks on the side of it so i can actually catch this i put this on the wall i'll find my mark and then i'll be able to put a pencil line right where i want it there it is and then i'll mark that and that's and then i'll know and i think that's the loud version and then it does that instead. And then there's a few different modes. There's also a vial level right and left, up and down on, on this side as well. Plus there's also a visual on the back. Um, let's see if I can catch that. I don't know if you're gonna be able to catch that unless you come around. Oh, here we go. Is, can you see that? The LEDs on the side right here. So there's a few different ways that you can um, use this uh, device to help you level things up. Um, there's also a magnetic end on it, so you can stick this to things as well, to metal. Uh, unfortunately for me, I don't use a lot of metal. So some cool modes on the laser. There's your vertical line. So you can, you can shoot a corner, right? And then there's a dot right here. So this dot will pinpoint the corner you set the laser up to pinpoint the corner, and then you can shoot right and left of that corner as well. And then you, you can use this as a micro adjuster if you're off a little bit and you need to, let's say you're close, but you need to click the, the edge or the corner a degree or two out. Uh, that's what you can use this for, and it, it'll allow you to adjust it in clicks. Like one, two clicks to the right, two clicks to the left. Another cool feature, is it's rechargeable, has a rechargeable battery in it. I haven't worn this battery out yet. I don't use this thing every day, but I use it on every job. I use it to pour concrete to make sure that my footings are low, and I use it to horizontally set all my posts into place. Um, it's so much more accurate than using a bubble level or using a water level or something like that. Um, and this is a brand I can trust. These lasers are as high quality as their levels. Um, I'm excited to uh, get a new one. I ordered a new uh, Stabila, like a, um, I can't remember the model number. It's 350, uh, 350 but I don't know the letters. Uh, it's kind of an all weather, um, and it's mostly just meant for horizontal. And that's, since that's what I use so much, um, we're probably gonna implement that this winter because they can sit out in the rain uh, while we're pouring or digging or setting elevations and I'll be able to use it all day. So uh, I'll give you guys an update on that one when it comes out as well. So hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, please click that subscribe button. Um, also click the bell icon if you want to be notified upon future releases. Every time we're putting out new content, uh, you'll get an email notification of that. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.